Okay, folks, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a poster um, using Canva for image editing. Um, and this is your poster for advertising the lawnmower. So when you open Canva, you need to go to the search box up here. And um, what I want you to type in is A4 document. And you should see a little page icon come up here a4 document click on that um you'll then have the option here you have loads of templates we don't want any of those um we want to create a blank a4 document so if you click on that you'll be able to edit your poster um what you need to do then is go to uploads and what you can see here is that i've already uploaded all the images i need for my poster into um my Canva document, um, but what you will need to do is take the images from Google Classroom that your teacher will have shared with you, download them, and then use this button here to upload them into Canva so you can use them for um, your project. So the first thing I want on my poster is um, grass for the background. I click on this picture of um, some grass. And I'm going to resize it just by dragging the edge um, like this. So it's the size of my A4 um, template. Um, there we go. So I've got a grassy background for my poster. I now need to add some images over the top of my poster um, to make my um, poster a bit more interesting because this um, grass on its own isn't going to persuade anyone to buy my lawnmower. Um, so I'm going to click on my lawnmower picture here. And you'll notice that my lawnmower picture has got a different background to this grassy background that I added. So what we need to do is click on edit image here. And um, if you go to um, if you go to um, effects, you will um, be able to find this one called background remover. You might need to search for it, but because I've used it before, uh, it comes up in my recently used. If you just search BG remover, it should come up. I'm going to use background remover on my lawnmower picture. I'm just waiting for it to take effect. And you can see that what that's done is remove the grass background from my lawnmower picture. So my lawnmower is blending into the background um, that I chose for my poster. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and move it into, um, I'm going to probably have it there because I want to leave space for my logo that I'm going to add later on. Um, I then want to have um, the manual lawnmower. I'm going to choose this picture for that one. And I'm going to have that one near the top. And again, this background doesn't work with the background I'm cho I've chosen. So again, I'm going to go to Edit Image and use the Background Remover tool again. And what that's done is made our manual lawnmower blend in with the background that we've chosen. So it looks like the manual lawnmower is mowing this grass instead. Um, then what I'm going to do is get my picture of um, someone putting their feet up. I'll click on there. Again, we're going to have to use the background remover tool here because um, our backgrounds don't match up. So we're going to go to edit image, background remover. It's going to get rid of the background for us. So we've just got person with the feet up blending into this background here. Um, I'm going to move my lawnmower down a bit, actually, and put my logo down there. Um, before I get my logo in here, I'm going to put some text um, to help the reader of my advert understand what the advert's about. So to do that, I need to click on text on the menu over here, and then click on, um, I'm going to choose a heading, and I'm going to say, for my heading, um, something to persuade the person to buy my robot lawnmower.
we go. And um, what you can see at the moment is the text isn't a very good color con to contrast with my background. So I'm going to highlight all the text and change the text color to white. Um, and then that works a lot better with my background. Um, I'm also going to make it a bit smaller because it's um, a bit too big at the moment. So I'm going to use my font size tool up here to make it, let's try, that's a bit too small, 18. Let's go for 32. There we go. That's quite good. So let's put our text in the middle there. And then I've that's nearly finished. We've got some text to persuade the person to buy um, the robot lawnmower. Got some good pictures in, got a background. All I need to do now is um, load up my um, my logo so I can put that in there. So I'm just going to grab my logo. So here's a logo I designed for um, Fab Gadget a bit earlier. Um, and you can watch the other explainer video that I've made to um, see how to make something like this. Um, Okay, so I've got my Fab Gadget logo in um, my images um, section of Canva. So I can click on that now. Um, at the moment, doesn't really look very good um, because it's a bit too big. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller and um, move it into the corner where I wanted it. And there we go. My poster is um, completed. And um, what I could do to make this a bit better is change this image to um, be a circular shape so I don't have those white corners in there. And it looks to me like I needed to make the Fab Gadget text a little bit bigger so it's easier to read on my poster. So perhaps those are things that you could um, do better than I've done when you make your own um, poster.